This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to recreate the iconic gun barrel image seen in the intro to every James Bond movie. I provided two Photoshop files for you to download. One includes four layers, a cinematic letterbox shape, an image of James Bond, this one played by Pierce Brosnan, a muzzle hole shape, and the rifling twirl that we'll place inside the gun barrel later. The other Photoshop file includes two layers that we'll use to create the inside of the gun barrel. I found that this photo works pretty well, but feel free to experiment with other images if you like. Just make sure the image's shape is an exact square, and its width and height are approximately 3100 pixels each. Its resolution should be 72 pixels per inch. Before we begin, if you're not already a subscriber to Blue Lightning TV, hit that subscribe button to let you know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials. Click off the eyeball icon next to the top layer to hide it and make the bottom layer visible. If it's not already active, just click it. First, we'll create guidelines to give us the vertical center of the image. To do this, go to View and New Guide Layout. This was introduced in version CC. If you're using an earlier version, I'll show you how to create the guidelines in a moment. Uncheck Rows and make the number of columns 2. If you're using an earlier version, click New Guide. Tick Vertical and for its position, type in 50%. Make the top layer visible and active. Go to Edit, Transform, and Rotate 90 degrees clockwise. With your Move tool still active, press and hold the Shift key as you drag it to the right until the grass is approximately in the middle. Go to View, and if Snap isn't checked, just click it to make it active. Open your rectangular marquee tool. Go to the top right corner and drag it down to the bottom of the middle guideline. It'll snap to it since we have snap checked. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut and copy the image within the selection onto its own layer. Hide the middle layer and make a copy of the top skyline. Press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. Go to the middle anchor point on the right side of the Transform's bounding box. Press and hold the Shift key as you drag it to the left side of your document until it snaps to that side. Then press Enter or Return. We'll place all the flipped skyline layers into a folder. With the top layer still active, Shift click the skyline and press Ctrl or Command G. I'll name the folder Skyline. Open the folder and make the top layer active. Reduce its opacity to 50% and close the folder. Change its blend mode to hard light and reduce its opacity to 30%. Hide the skyline folder. We'll make a new layer below it by control clicking or command clicking the new layer icon. Click the foreground color to open the color picker. In the hexadecimal field, type in the letter C six times to give us a light gray color. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Open your pencil tool and pencil picker. Pick a hard round point. Make the size six pixels, the hardness 100%, and the opacity 100%. If you're using CC 2018 or later, make the smoothing 100%. While this isn't absolutely necessary, it'll make our pencil strokes much smoother as we draw them. I did an in-depth tutorial on the smoothing feature, so if you'd like to watch it, I provided its link as well. Place your cursor approximately here at the top and draw a curvy line to the bottom ending approximately here. We'll fill it with the foreground color by opening our paint bucket tool and clicking anywhere on our image to the left of the line. Go to Filter. Blur and Motion Blur. The angle is 0 degrees and the distance is 50 pixels. 
Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Press D on your keyboard to make your foreground and background colors black and white respectively, and press B to open back your pencil tool. Place your cursor approximately here, and draw a curvy line to approximately here. Press G to open back your paint bucket tool, and click anywhere inside the line. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. This time, make the distance anywhere between 115 and 120 pixels. Make a new layer, and open back your pencil tool. Place your cursor approximately here, and as before, draw a curvy line to approximately here. Open back your paint bucket tool, and click anywhere on your image to the right of the curvy line. We'll repeat the motion blur filter with the settings we used by pressing alt Control f on Windows or Option-Command-F on a Mac. Make the Skyline folder visible and active. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Black and White. This removes all the color. Next, we'll make the midtones and the shadows darker. Click the Adjustment Layer icon again and click Curves. If the Curves panel is partially hidden, just drag down the panel until you see the entire window. Basically, the Curves panel represents the tonal range of your image, from black to white along the diagonal line. Moving a point in the top portion of the curve adjusts the highlights, moving the center adjusts the midtones, and moving it in the bottom section adjusts the shadows. To darken the midtones, Place your cursor on the middle point of the diagonal line and drag it down approximately this much. To make the shadows darker, place your cursor on the lower left corner of the line and drag it to the right along the bottom edge approximately this much. Next, we'll convert our visible image into a smart object so we can add filters to it non-destructively. But first, I'll drag the Properties panel back up so we can see more of the Layers panel. Scroll to the bottom and shift-click the bottom layer to make all of the layers active. Click the icon at the upper right, and click Convert to Smart Object. Let's name it Gun Barrel. Go to Filter, Distort, and Twirl. For the angle, type in minus 673 degrees. Go back to Filter, Distort, and Pinch. For the amount, type in 100. Then convert the visible image into a smart object. We're ready to place it onto the gun barrel template I provided. Press Ctrl or Command A to select it, and Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Open the gun barrel template and press Ctrl or Command V to paste it into the Layers panel. We'll flip the gun barrel horizontally by opening our Transform tool and going to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. If your image has flat distortions on both sides, we'll increase the size of our gun barrel until those distortions are cropped off. To do this, go to a corner. If you're using a version earlier than CC 2019, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it out. If you're using CC 2019 or later, just press Alt or Option as you drag it. Then, press Enter or Return, or click the check mark at the top. Next, we'll crop it to the aspect ratio of the cinema letterbox. To do this, Control click or Command click the thumbnail of the letterbox to make a selection of its shape. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. Go to Image and Crop. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Let's zoom into our image by pressing Ctrl or Command and the plus key on our keyboard a couple of times. Or if you like, you can fit it onto your canvas by pressing Ctrl or Command Zero. Now that we cropped it to the letterbox, we can delete that layer by either dragging it to the trash can or, in later versions, by pressing the Delete key. Drag the Gun Barrel Twirl layer to the bottom of the Layers panel. Hide the top two layers 
and double click the rifling twirl layer to open its layer style window. Click Drop Shadow. If the color isn't white, click the box and pick white. The blend mode is normal, the opacity is 50%, and the angle is 138 degrees. The distance is 10 pixels, and the spread and the size are both zero. The contour is linear. Make the muzzle hole visible and double click it to open its layer style window. I'll move it over so we can see the left side of the muzzle hole. Click Drop Shadow and the color box. Pick Black. Make the opacity 100% and the angle 0 degrees. Make the distance 20 pixels. Make the top layer visible and active. We'll place James Bond inside the muzzle hole by making James Bond into a clipping mask. To do this, press alt Control g on Windows or option command g on a Mac. You could also go to Layer and create Clipping Mask. Lastly, we'll create the blood. Make a new layer. I'll name it Blood. Click the foreground color and pick a bright red. Open your pencil tool and draw a curvy line approximately like this. Open your paint bucket tool and click inside the line to fill the space with color. Change the blend mode to multiply. To brighten the darker areas, make a copy of the layer and change the copy's blend mode to soft light. We'll reveal back the details of the gun barrel on the right by clicking the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the top layer. Open back your pencil tool, increase its size, and with black as your foreground color, draw over the brighter areas to reveal back the original blood layer as you draw over it. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.